HBO has released the second episode of their Batman spin-off, The Penguin, which focuses on Oz as he attempts to play both the Falcone and Maroney families to his advantage. And I thought the episode was really good. Because as much as I have enjoyed Colin Farrell's interpretation of the Penguin, this is the first time I've been able to see the character as someone who is quick-witted. I mean, we already knew that the Penguin was a good old-fashioned con artist, but he plays a very dangerous game in this episode, conning every side of this gang war that he manufactured in the first place. So he spends this episode thinking on the fly and switching loyalty on a dime in order to adapt to his particular situation. In other words, we get to see him improvise, adapt, and overcome. And I think that makes for a really fun episode. Though I think it mostly proves that Oz has been able to survive this long based on sheer dumb luck. I mean, I'm glad the character is alive because I find him to be rather entertaining, but I can think of several instances in the past two episodes alone where he probably would have died if he weren't the main character of the show. And that makes me wonder about what Vic's fate will ultimately be, since he narrowly escapes death in both episodes as well. And he's not the main character, so I can totally see him biting the bullet by the time the series is over. But I'm getting ahead of myself here, because this episode ends with an unlikely alliance between Oz and Sophia Falcone, which I absolutely did not see coming. I mean, Sophia was basically positioned to be the main antagonist of the series, and Oz has a temporary partnership with her by the end of episode 2. That's a narrative development I was definitely not expecting. Sure, Oz spends the entire episode trying to get on Sophia's good side, but I didn't think it was actually gonna happen, let alone so soon in the series. So, it'll definitely be interesting to see how their relationship will develop over the next few episodes. But Oz better be careful with what he says to her, cause Sophia can and will use anything he says against himself. So, it may not be long before this little team-up actually blows up in Oz's face. But if he can survive being outed as the only member of the mob to carry a knife on him for some reason, then maybe he can survive the inevitability of Sophia's wrath as well. Either way, I'm looking forward to seeing how everything is going to pan out. So, I can't wait to see the next episode of The Penguin once it gets released on Sunday.